My gold medal, I'm taking it to college football. I, I'm thinking, like, who who's going to stop this inevitable rematch between Clemson and Bama? I just, I don't see it. I don't see anybody stopping them. I, I just feel like they're 40, 50 points better than everybody in college football right now. And I, I really feel like this college football play, this is a hot take, but I really think this whole college football playoff format of these four teams has really skewed recruiting in a way. Whereas a team, teams like Alabama and Clemson who've proven themselves in this first first couple years of it, kind of have the pick of the litter at every recruit. Because you've seen the SEC is not as strong as it used to be. The SEC used to be a conference from top to bottom could beat the crap out of anybody else. Where the same with the ACC from top to bottom usually had a lot better teams. Florida State really isn't as good as people really thought they were. Uh, teams like LSU, Georgia, Florida, Tennessee, not as good as they've been in recent years. And I think it's because this top four format these four- and five-star recruits are eyeing like, wow, Clemson and Bama and Ohio State are making it every single year. I need to hop on here. And so Alabama, I mean, they Alabama, something people aren't talking about, they have four injuries to their first-team defense that all happened in the first two weeks. Two outside linebackers out, a defensive end out, a DB out, and they have a, they're, still, they're still beating people by 40, 50 points. Clemson, new starting quarterback, Hobson, I think his, what's his, his last name, his name's Kelly something. Dude is ridiculous. Six foot four, two hundred twenty-five pounds. He's rushing for hundred yards every game, easily. And so it's just like these teams that they're playing is just like their head and shoulders better than everybody. They look like the new, like they look like an NFL team out there playing these college kids. And I, I just don't see anybody stopping Batman and Clemson from playing each other again. They're just literally two trains on the same track, and they're gonna play again next year because Jalen Hurts, freshman, he's a sophomore quarterback. They're going Alabama's coming back again. This dude, this quarterback for Clemson. He's gonna be back next year. It's it's they're they're two teams that are just unstoppable right now. I can't stand either one of their coaches either, and I just I hate it. Like it, it's it's they're probably gonna play this year. It's not it's probably gonna be like Cleveland and Golden State. It's just gonna keep happening because this top four format is just making is making players feel like that's where I need to play to get on TV. Like it's this is literally what's happening. I think it's a vacuum of coaching talent too. Like. Urban Meyer is in the Big Ten. You got Jim Harbaugh, and then that's about it. Yeah. And then you go into the, name S- you go the SEC. It's Nick Saban and who else? I can't, I can't really. A bunch of guys who are getting caught for recruiting violations, yeah. like Hugh Freeze. <laughs> Hugh Freeze, shout out to him. And so I feel like all these other coaches, they have to cheat to compete with what. Nick Saban and other people have, and let's be honest, they're cheating too, but they have more money yeah. to hide the cheating so that going forward it's easier. That's what I'm saying. I, I think it's just the rich get richer in yeah. college football, and, and it's kind of and annoying. This, this one through four things, I mean, they beat the Ole Miss Rebels 66-3. to three. This is a team that, that beat sweet. them two years in a row. They beat them at home. In 2015, they beat them at home. Katie, Katie Perry was there. Like, and, and now you're getting beat 66 to 3, and I don't feel like Ole Miss has had a drop off of talent. I just think Alabama's just gotten better. And you wouldn't think a team like Alabama could get better recruiting wise, but it's, another team, if they lost four starters at the beginning, it would demoralize the team. I think this always happens, though. I mean, sorry, Rosa, but I think this always happens. Pete Carroll had, like, five five-star running back recruits at USC every year. Yeah. I mean, it's just it's always the rich get richer. What do you think about this, Russell? Uh, it, it's really – I can't think it's almost like what we talked about with basketball because now we talked about how can a team like Alabama get better in recruiting when they're already the best. It's like talking about the, the, the Warriors and them getting better than they already were last year. Yeah. yeah. When, when people are when you're a great team and you have a great coach, people want to be a part of that. Mm-hmm. If Nick Saban came into my house, sat with me and pot, my parents, and told me I can win a national championship and go to the NFL and give you hundred thousand dollars, I'm going to Tuscaloosa to play for the Crimson Tide. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. If you look at all the other teams in the college football playoff, you look at a team like Michigan, who's always supposed to make this jump to win the college football playoff. Right. Why have you done Notre Dame? Yeah. I think we need to ask the, the other team's questions, not ask uh, Alabama and Clemson questions. Yeah. Why hasn't the Michigan uh, Michigan and Michigan State and Ohio State, why haven't they been able to put those teams? That's true. What are you doing that that is, is prohibiting you from making that leap to the next level? Right. You keep talking. You got this Jordan deal at Michigan. Yeah. You, you brought in Jim Harbaugh. You have all these top recruits. You got uh, Jabril Peppers. You have all uh, – Amari Darbo, all these players in the past that you've had in the last couple of years, 
why haven't you been able to to to, to compete with the the teams on the big stage? Yeah, it's true. It's true. And I feel like Dabo Sweeney for Clemson cement is is cemented himself in that Nick Saban, like that Nick Saban. Level. Not, not as good as Nick Saban, but his recruiting has been up there over the last couple of years. We've seen it with players like Deshaun Watson and DeAndre Hopkins and just. I mean, he, he's got guys that are producing in the NFL right now, and it shows with the way they play on the field. So, yeah, so it'll be interesting to watch when Alabama and Clemson play each other again this year. 